Hey YouTube, it's uh, y'all's favorite hillbilly back again and I uh, had a guy at work ask me a question today. Um, I, I actually was in training today. I was learning Excel. I have to use computers as much as it looks like I just walked out of the back of a garage doing a tune-up on a car. I, uh, I, I work with guys, I spent a lot of time working with computers so I was in an Excel training class today learning how to build tables and charts and macros and actually doing programming. So, um, but no, he asked me, he said, you know, I, I hear you talk about it. I have a lot of knives. It's a guy, it's a guy that works in our, uh, emergency management section of the installation. And he said, you know, you have a lot of knives. How do you pick out a knife? And I, I had to tell him, I was like, well, there's a lot of different things that, that go into picking out a knife. If I go and pick out a knife, it's going to have, you know, there's a purpose behind it. Now I've got enough knives now that when I buy a new knife as in the unboxing, it's just because I want it. Um, I actually do carry it. I carried this today. Um, I missed having a Sabenza laying around, an actual Sabenza laying around 21. Um, but one of the things that I look for is the, the, there's, a, there's a whole list of criteria. You know, what am I going to use it for? Um, I have knives for camp knives, the, the fixed blades that, that, that when I would go camping or things like that, those stay in the, the, uh, in a pack, you know, and, you know, so it just depends on what you're going to do with a knife. A good all around knife is a, is a nice, whatever, you know, utility knife. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything specific. I carried this for years. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, it's really sharp. It takes a really good edge and, uh, it, uh, easy to deploy, nice and thin, not too heavy. My Spyderco Endura in uh, stainless. Um, but basically there's, there's things that you want to look at. Now for me, um, I have a Swiss Army knife just like my daughter's and you know, this would go in my pocket if I knew I was yeah, going to be tinkering around needed something where I might, you know, not want to carry a Leatherman cause they get heavy. Um, this would probably fit the bill for a lot of that stuff. Um, from a strictly self-defense kind of role. This knife was designed for self-defense. It this is not a knife that you pull out and clean your fingernails and cut line with. This specifically was built to allow you to have a good day and somebody else to have an extremely bad day. Um, there's another knife that would be kind of a self-defense role. This this knife, um, I don't even know where this came from. This is how many knives I have. It's in a drawer and no idea where this knife came from. But now we go to price point. This is $500 knife. This is $40 knife. Pretty smooth action. Incredibly smooth action. You can find decent knives at a price point. Now I'm going to tell you this knife will not last anywhere near as long as this knife. You can look at it. It's plastic handles. I know they call it the Zytel. It's, it's not going to last. Um, but not everybody has disposable <laughs> income for $500 knife. I, I looked on my bed stand and realized that I've got probably $3,000 worth of steel laying on my bed stand when I go to bed at night to lay there so I can pick out what I want to get in the morning. But I, I worked hard for that. And I, I didn't just do spur of the moment purchases. I, I waited until I had the money um, off track. You know, that goes back to something my grandfather said. If the money's not in the account, you don't need it. There's no emergency that's so pressing that you have to buy something that you don't have the money for. So um, need the use I'm going to have that knife for. Um, is it going to be doing heavy duty cutting tasks? I might um, commented uh, a guy named Ben commented on my YouTube video about unboxing my Spenza 21. Um, some guys like the 25. Uh, I do think the 25 would be a harder use knife just because of the way the grind is. If you're going to use a knife for a heavy duty task, I would recommend something that has a flat grind, something that has a really durable steel. If you're going to rely on it to do these heavy tasks, I wouldn't buy a $20, $10 gas station knife and expect it to perform. Um, so the grind. The grind is important depending on what you're going to do. Um, that's one of the factors. The steel. Um, you've heard me talk about um, what I like about LMAX steel. And uh, now having had my NTAC for a while, the N690 steel, 
um, the Bowler Edge 690 is a lot like that. Ease of resharpening. If you've ever had a knife that was in some of those super steels, uh, CTS, CTX, a, or CTS XHP is an extremely good edge retention style steel. M390, Bowler M390, holds an edge forever. But that's about how long it took me to get it sharp the way I wanted to because I was I'd never had something in that steel and those super steels those high performance super steels that that are so hard. Um, so when I was doing that uh, M three ninety uh, my uh, Riat my Dave Dang Riat, I was sharpening at M three ninety and it just didn't seem like it was doing anything. And even now, um, when you want to mirror polish that edge. You, you basically, you look at it and you're like, oh, I still got scratch marks from the previous stone. You basically have to double the time. S30V. I had a ZT in S30V. My goodness, was that difficult to sharpen. Now, I haven't sharpened this yet. This is my new um, Sabenza. And I don't remember what it was like sharpening my other one. I didn't sharpen the 25 that I had um, because it, before I gave it to the kid and then, then took his counterfeit, I didn't sharpen that 25. It didn't need it. Uh, like I said in the video, this one has a minor misgrind. It's not a big deal. I sharpen knives when I sharpen it. It's, it's still sharp. It, it cuts every bit as good. It's just um, the angle was a little bit off um, on the one side. So when I, I'll probably use my uh, Edge Pro and set a specific angle and then I'll freehand it after that and I'll just listen to see if it sounds different. Um, so, you know, edge blade steel. LMAX is easy to resharpen. Um, I, I personally, considering I use live knives a lot, would rather have a steel that might not head, hold its edge as long, but is easy to resharpen. Um, so, um, how are you going to carry it? Size of the knife. Are you... You know, two different knives, carrying both. If you can see, much smaller. Still has an incredibly large blade for a small knife. Um, what size of knife are you going to carry? A lot of times, if I'm going somewhere, this is a little fixed blade, a little cold steel fixed blade that I've got that I will stick on my zipper of a jacket if I'm going up, um, walking up the mountain behind where my wife plays softball when we go up there in, in the summer, um, because there's times I would need a knife, but it's chilly, or I'm sorry, in the fall, it's chilly, and, and I don't I don't always wear jeans. Sometimes I want to be able to carry a knife. So size, you know, that's a tiny little knife. It's got, uh, it's a it's a cold steel super edge. Um, it cuts really well if you needed it to. It's got that really good serration. It's not for fine cutting. You're not going to trim your fingernails or anything with it. Um, so size. Now, for me, one of the one of the considerations I like, and I didn't bring it out because it's it's actually in my safe, is my um, my Microtech DOC collaboration between Mick Strider and, and Anthony Marfian. It has a three point seven five inch blade, which is not a real big blade. Um, this is a three inch blade. It's not much bigger than this when you really look at it, but it has a very large handle. But the style handle that it has lends itself to some self-defense and, and it's a really comfortable grip for a smaller blade. For me, a lot of times the importance, and that's why I like the Sabenza and that's why I really love this, blade to handle ratio. It seems to me that if I'm paying for a knife and that blade isn't taken up pretty much every available bit of real estate in that handle, it seems like I wasted a little bit of money because the important part's the blade. Now, this... <laughs> you guys are tired of hearing it, but when you look in there, it's almost one-to-one. -one. It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. What you have in handle, you pretty much have in blade. Then when you open it and you get the width of the cutting area and all that, you actually wind up with what looks like more blade than you have handle, and it's not blade-to-handle ratio. The Sabenza has a very good blade-to-handle ratio. When you look at it, there's not much wasted space. I hate when you buy a knife and you get it. it it's most of my knives you're going to see. It's a pretty good blade to handle ratio. 
um, it, it just seems like uh, there's a lot of waste. This one doesn't have as good of a blade to handle ratio. You can actually physically see that the blade is significantly shorter to handle. Um, I like a bigger bladed knife. That's why a lot of folks that know me are surprised when they see me pull this out. But, you know, it's a workhorse cutter. Um, so is this, but, um, I typically like a larger blade, but I don't necessarily want something that's huge. I've seen knives that have a four inch blade and then you're looking at like 10 and a half inches overall. I'm like, why is there so much addition? So these are some of the criteria I look at. Um, fixed blades, uh, you know, if I'm carrying a fixed blade, it's going to be for going camping and things like that. I want something that's pretty sturdy. I have a couple fixed blade uh, skinning knives that are purpose, you know, purpose built for skinning and uh, purposes. So, like everyone says, it all goes back to what you need. So, uh, I just heard my daughter walk in. So, that just kind of answers some of those questions how I pick a knife, but it's not necessarily going to be how everyone picks a knife. So, like, that, like I said, the big deal for me is blade steel use what the purpose of the knife is and that blade to handle ratio i want a good blade to handle ratio because it feels like i'm paying for the blade i should not have all this extra handle that, that's adding additional cost so i'm gonna get off of here see if there's anything my wife's gonna yell at me about all right you guys take it easy